There's nothing better than fishing in the Florida Keys. There he is. Nice. Right there. That's a good bite. For diversity of species, there's nowhere else like it. There's nothing better than a mid-sized amberjack to beat your butt. There he is. There he is. That's a good fish, buddy. Up fish on. Ooh, 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 you think? Oh, good. dude. Looking good. Ow! How cool is that? We're on a fish. Oh, 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 oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. The town of Marathon lies roughly halfway down the chain of islands that make up the Florida Keys. And like Isla Morada to the north and Key West to the south, Marathon has its own unique personality and atmosphere. It's the center of much of the commercial fishing activity in the Keys, but it offers incredible opportunities for recreational fishermen as well. One of the best of the Keys' famous humps lies just off Marathon, and the reefs extending north and south of Sombrero Lighthouse provide world-class action on a wide variety of species. And no one knows the offshore waters of Marathon better than my old friend, Captain Chris Morrison. Chris agreed to show me some of the best the area has to offer, and I jumped at the chance to check it out. Chris, looks like we have a pretty day. We're heading offshore off Marathon. What are we gonna do? Where are we going? Well, John, I figure we start at the Marathon Hump. We'll see if we can run into some blackfin tuna and uh, see how luck will have it. What else we run into is uh, up for grabs. We'll see. We got some live bait, we got some trolling lures, we have jigs. We're fully armed and ready, so let's go do it. I'd say we're ready, let's go. The Gulf Stream current washes over the Marathon Hump and blackfin tuna ambush bait fish as they get carried over the hump with the current. We got some showing up pretty solid at 200 feet now, so. This is the, the place you usually find them, though, stacked up on the front side of a seamount. And the current from the Gulf Stream hits it and flows up like this when it hits that, uh, that wall. Of course, that knocks all the little bait fish in it right up to the waiting tunas. Yeah, man, all these tuna are just staged up here on this seamount, the Marathon Hump. Waiting for the Gulf Stream to bring them food. There he is. Nice. Right there. That's a good bite. Yeah, man. Oh, he knows he's hooked. He doesn't want what you're selling. <laughs> there you go. Swap. All right, I got collar right here. Let me see him. All right, man. Look at that. All right. Hand me the oh, yeah. rod and you That's grab it. That's a nicer it. fish, man. That is a very nice fish. Oh, yeah, let's take that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. You know what I see when I look at that fish? Sushi. <laughs> I see some seared with uh, sesame seeds on it. Either way, sushi you, next either to way it. you do it, you can't go wrong. No. Look how beautiful he is. They are pretty. And those giant fins that sets them apart from all the other tunas. That gold is something else on there. It their really is. Sides there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Black backs for uh, camouflage. If something's looking down at them from above, they don't see them. They blend in with the deep water. So this was a, uh, a fish made to swim, and they're perfectly suited for it. Swim fast. Oh, and by <laughs> the way, they taste good. Into the box with him, man. Into my belly tonight. Absolutely right. <laughs> you can catch black fins by jigging, trolling, or with live bait. And different methods work better depending on conditions. Oh, we got a bite. You're gonna bite. Got Go, a bite. Get him, get him, get him. I get it. What took so long? All right, we're in neutral. Okay, man. Get under daddy. Fish is foul hooked or something? He's tail wrapped. Hmm. Little guy. He made a fatal mistake there. Yeah, he did. There we go. Black he just fin. unhooked himself. Yeah. He's a little chewed up. Yeah, he is chewed up. 
Treble hooks will do that to you. Yeah, they will. Nice little black fan. He's he's chewed up. We'll probably go ahead and keep him off. Yeah. I'm tasting that seared tuna already. That's right. There you go, buddy All boy. Right. Look how pretty he is. Box. Look at that gold. Yeah, he got foul hooked in the side. These trolling plugs will do that to him. And yeah, they will. I don't think he'll survive if we let him go, so. Yeah, he'd be a good one for the dinner plate. Sorry, buddy. You're sushi. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Cool. Coming up next. There he is. There he is. Nice. I've oh, got you. Nice. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's a fat boy. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at ramtrucks.com. Guts, glory, Ram. By Yellowfin, your legacy. By Simrad, go with confidence. And by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks. We encountered changing weather conditions in Marathon, with a falling barometer preceding a line of heavy thunder showers. The water temperature was 84 degrees with an 86 degree air temperature and mostly cloudy skies. Wow, look at that, Chris. That's solid tunas oh, yeah. on the sounder about 150 feet of tunas down there. Yeah, the screen just lit up with tuna here, man. It's unbelievable, man. That's, right place. that's that new BSM-3 sounder from Simrad. It shows every little detail. You can almost see the little finlets on their back. You can clearly count the fish in the school, man. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, I don't know how is. many there are, but it's a lot. Yeah, it is. I think we ought to catch one. Let's, you let's get a bait in the water, man. Let's do it. Jigging for tunas involves drifting over the school of fish with the current and timing the drop of the jig so that it passes up through the school as you retrieve it. There he is. There he is. Nice. That's a good fish, buddy. He went right into his run. What in the world? That was weird. He came right up to me for a second there. I would advise bringing him to the top soon. Yeah, this is the heavy spinning rod with the... Yeah, you can make him cry real tears with that outfit, man. You got a Torque 9 spinning reel with 65-pound diamond braid, blue water carnage rod. Ooh, you're working on him, man. Yeah, this is a tough outfit here. Oh, I see him. Yeah, there he is. Got a little bit of color there. Looks like a tuna, all right. A nice tuna, buddy. Fish of the day. Yeah, Can I grab is. him? Sure. That'd be great. Slide back a little bit. Oh, come here, buddy. I'm going to get that tail. Oh, I got you. Nice. Nice, man. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That's a fat boy. Yes, it is. They love those metal jigs. Uh huh. All right, let's grab that hook. All right. Let's get it from there. I think so. You had him hooked good. Yeah. It wasn't getting away. That's a beautiful fish, man. Yeah, that's Excellent beauty. work. Excellent work. Look at the size of that eye. Can we take him home? Yeah. All right. He's going on with us. Do it looks it. like dinner. Fishing for blackfin tuna is great sport on light tackle, but we all know that sharks can move into where the blackfins are schooling and wreak havoc on hooked fish. Shark. It's frustrating when sharks take fish after fish off your line, so you have several options to combat the predators. You can try to lure the school of tunas off the structure by drifting and chumming, and oftentimes the sharks will not follow the school. But the most tried and true way to get tunas away from sharks is to ramp up the size of your tackle. By going to heavier line, a slightly larger rod and reel, and a bigger leader, you may be able to land the fish before the sharks get to them. It's less sporting, true, but feeding tunas to the sharks isn't great sport either. Larger leaders may cut down on the number of bites, so experiment to find the right combination, which can help you land your fish and make the sharks work a little harder for a meal. This Conservation Minute has been brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. 
In Marathon, we fished Penn's torque and spin Fisher V spinning reels and Fathom lever drag conventional reels spooled with diamond braid and Mamoy high catch monofilament on Penn Blue Water Carnage rods. Woo! Yeah! Oh, he's there, that's on. Penn in the rod. Yep. Come on out of there before a group reads you. Further down there than it seems, isn't it? <laughs> There's a long way. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, is being brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. By King Sailfish Mounts, for that once-in-a-lifetime catch. And by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Powered by Ram Trucks. Yeti coolers are known for being indestructible and keeping things cold, and the new Hopper 30 is no exception. The Hopper is the first 100% leak-proof portable cooler and comes built to keep ice for days at a time. The Hopper's rugged construction features a dry hide shell made of the same materials used to build whitewater rafts and hazmat suits, so you know it's tough. A sturdy Hydrolock zipper keeps the contents both intact and cold, as does the cold cell insulation material. The hopper was designed to be easily portable, convenient, and durable, even in the harshest outdoor conditions imaginable. It's perfect for virtually any use, always ready to go, and to back up the hopper's reputation for long-term, tough-as-nails reliability in the field, Yeti backs the hopper with a three-year warranty. The Yeti Hopper 30 definitely not your average soft-sided cooler. Well, Chris, everybody knows there's a ton of wrecks out here in the reefs of the Keys, and off Marathon, there's plenty of them in these waters. This particular one's, what, 160 feet deep? About that, yeah. And this is one of your favorites, and what are we gonna find here? Well, uh, looking for a variety of fish, you know, mixed bag, uh, fishing the wrecks, um, mutton snappers, groupers, Jacks, several species, a variety of things. And you got your midwater fish, you got your kingfish, and bonitas and black fins, possibly. You never know. Never know. You might Sounds even get a wahoo. Sounds good to me. Let's try Wahoos. I love wahoos. They're around this time of year. So. Let's put a bait out there so we find. Bending the rod. Yep. He's there. Oh. So that's a vermilion. He's a strong one. Come on out of there before a group reads you. I got him coming now. That's fighting like a vermilion. Might be another dinner time fish. Further down there than it seems, isn't it? <laughs> that is a long way. You got something on the other end of the line. He's coming good, though, but he feels like a nice vermilion. Oh, man. That will work. Look at the size of that vermilion. Oh, man. That's a good one. I'll take that. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm awesome. talking about. Good job, buddy. We'll the dropper it. rig worked good. Yes, it did. I agree. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a fat one, man. I got a grip on this sucker. Yeah, don't let them flip over for you. Well, they are beautiful, aren't they? They are. They're a pretty fish. They're just as pretty as a yellowtail or a mutton, as far as I'm concerned. A lot, yep. lot more rare species, you know? Yep. And what do they call these in the Carolinas? Oh, that's a bee liner. Some people know them as. Yeah, and, they, uh, uh, and they swim all the way from here in the Keys up uh, to Virginia. Yeah, I've heard of them up that far. That's, yeah, that's North cool. Carolina, for sure. And they're pretty fish, and they're great to eat. I'm looking forward to eating this one. They got all the right ingredients. Oh, yeah. Good job, man. That's a nice one. Thank you. Something's got it. There you go. Coming up next. You got him coming now, buddy boy. That thing did hit like a freight train. Looking good, man. Looking oh, good. Dude. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram Trucks, has been brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild.
by FloridaFishingLicenseCampaign.com. Always say, I do. And by Ram Trucks. Get more facts at RamTrucks.com. Guts. Glory. Ram. Marathon is a family-oriented community comprised of three islands in the central Florida Keys, Vaca Key, Fat Deer Key, and Grassy Key. Marathon may not have the flashy appeal of Key West, but there's plenty to see and do here for fishing families. The area offers fantastic fishing, snorkeling, and diving opportunities, along with historic sites to visit. These include the five-acre island of Pigeon Key, located beneath the old Seven Mile Bridge. Pigeon Key once served as home base for the builders of the Overseas Highway in the 1930s and has been painstakingly preserved. There's also the Crane Point Museum and Nature Center, where visitors can hike through a tropical hardwood grove and visit the home of an early 20th century pioneer family. Fine dining and excellent hotel accommodations abound as well, making Marathon a perfect destination for a family vacation. Something's got it. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. He's there. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, he's solid, whatever he is. You know, it's in moments like these, Chris, I wish I went to the gym more often. <laughs> <laughs> I think this fish did go to the gym. You got him coming now, buddy boy. Uh, he's definitely off the bottom. Oh, oh, smoking to too go soon, back. maybe. He's got one more in him. I haven't seen him yet. Got to be close. Got to be. That personal trainer working out for you? <laughs> Moments like these, you appreciate them, right? That's right. Yeah, the best kind of training for this is getting right out here and doing it. Loving it. Every minute of it. That's right. You don't have to pay this personal trainer. He comes right up and gives you your hook back. Your, your personal trainer's named Jack. <laughs> Just circling out from under there the There he is, there he is. I got him. There he is. All right, let's come back here and grab him. Come here, Bubba. There we go. There he gotcha. Is. Nice, oh. huh? Oh, yeah. Nice little lumberjack. He was a puller, that's for sure. Yeah, he was. Oh, send him yeah. on back down. Pretty See fish. you, pal. Woo! See you, bud. Nice job, man. All right, thanks for the that assist. Was a, that was there. a good one. There's nothing better than a mid sized lumberjack to beat your butt. <laughs> Yeah, you know you've done something, up. you catch one of those. <laughs> We're looking for some big fish, so I'm going to put on 50 pound uh, diamond fluorocarbon here. Yeah, go with the 50, will. man. I agree. Give us a better chance if they get us in the wreck. Yeah, I'm using 30 pound on those smaller fish, but I think it's better to go, as you say, old school. <laughs> yeah, we're in the deep water now. We got to beef up the tackle a little bit. That's right. Well, that's what we're doing. Up, oh, fish on. Whoa, 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 you think? Better you than me right there. That thing did hit like a freight train. Yeah, he did. That's how we like them. Yep, you are hooked up. I think you're right. What do you think there? Yeah. Feeling a little Jackson like. Yeah. Got the kick, but you never know. You know, with the braid, all bets are off. All fish feel like Jackson. That one ate a live pinfish, I believe. I believe you're right.
Looking good. Uh, you got him under control here. I'm getting close, gotta be. Here he is. Whatever he is. Oh yeah. Looking good, man. Looking oh, good. Dude. Looking good. Dude, dude, dude. That's Look him. That beauty right there. Ow, dude. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh yeah. That is the target species, man. That's a beauty. Very nice. Oh Look man. That beast. He's what, 12, 13 pounds? Yeah, man. Definitely. He's a solid one. That is a beautiful mutton snapper. Oh yeah. One of my favorite fish. One of the best fish in the ocean to eat. Beautiful to look them. at. I love them. They're they so got pretty. Everything good. She even put her eyeliner on for you. Got See little, that blue got, right got there? Got a little blue eyeliner on. Pretty as can be. Absolutely. That's going on with us, my friend. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy, thanks for putting me on this fish, man. This is some of the best fishing Marathon has to offer right here. Nice job, my man. You got, the, you got a nice one here. Yes, sir. Chris, every time we get together in Marathon and go fishing, we have a day pretty much like we had today. We catch a lot of fish. We have a lot of laughs. It has been awesome. I want to thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. We're going to do it again real soon. And folks, if you're coming to Marathon, Florida, in the heart of the Florida Keys, you got to look up this guy, Captain Chris Morrison. What's your website? Gameonfishing.com. That's an easy one, gameonfishing.com. For Sport Fishing Television, I'm John Brownlee. Thanks a lot. Accommodations were provided by the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Marathon. To learn more about Sport Fishing Television powered by Ram Trucks, visit our website at sportfishingtelevision.com. And be sure to visit us at facebook.com slash sportfishing. Next time on SFTV. Got him on. Way to go, Phil. Join us as we visit Florida's Pine Island Sound. That is a good Pine Island Sound redfish right there, my friend.